Greece, still in the grip of violent fires. This Saturday, three forest fires still ravaged certain areas of the country. One threatening entire cities, as well than Euboea, the second largest Greek island. Other fires engulfed wooded mountain sides, and skirted ancient sites, destroying everything in their path. At north of Athens, the fire in the Mont Parnitha, was still burning, but it is for the moment more or less controlled. Its smoke, meanwhile, was still spreading in the Athens basin. A helpline has been set up by the authorities for residents of the capital suffering from respiratory problems. Two people died, and around 20 had to be hospitalized. Greece has suffered one of the most intense heat waves for over 30 years, with temperatures reaching up to 45 degrees. In neighboring Turkey, firefighters are battling the worst forest fires the country has ever seen. Several tens of thousands of people had to be evacuated, and eight people have died in the past 10 days. In total, 217 fires were brought under control, but firefighters were still working on Saturday to control six fires. In the Turkish seaside province of Mugla, a popular area for tourists, some fires appeared to be under control on Saturday, but the forestry minister said fires were still burning in the area. Mylis region, environmental groups have urged authorities to protect the forests of the Sandra's mountain against fires nearby. Finally in Russia, the vast region of Siberia is still suffering from violent fires. Residents of some areas had to be evacuated. 93 forest fires devastated 1.1 million hectares of Saka Yakusha, making it the most affected region in Russia. The Russian Defense Ministry has deployed 120 military engineers to fight the fire in the area. Fires also burned near the villages of Bias Kul, Kaidal Daira, Sinsk, Yedii, and several other settlements. In recent years, Russia has seen a rise in temperatures, which many experts see as the result of global warming.